Greetings, Nephilim. This is Stephanie Johnson, aka Lylira, the community manager for Diablo 3 at Blizzard Entertainment. In this video, we'll be highlighting some of the major system updates and new features included in Patch 201. We've got a ton of cool stuff to cover, so let's get started. First up is the highly anticipated revision to itemization, something we like to call Loot 2.0. With Loot 2.0, we've changed the way stats on items are allocated and organized. Going forward, all new items that drop will have their stats separated into two categories, primary and secondary. Primary stats include main stats, damage increasing stats such as attack speed or critical hit chance, defensive stats such as armor or life per second, and some new stats like bonus splash damage or percent increase to one of your class skills. These are stats that will directly impact the DPS, toughness, and life values displayed on your hero's character sheet. Secondary stats are generally more focused on utility. Unlike primary stats, they don't directly impact the power of your hero, but can still change your gameplay in meaningful ways. Some examples of secondary stats include increased pickup radius, bonus experience, and gold find. Items can roll up to four primary stats and two secondary stats. And more importantly, stats in one category will never compete against the other. Loot 2.0 also introduces the Smart Loot system. As of Patch 201 and moving forward into Reaper of Souls, every time an item drops, including legendary and set items, it now has a chance to be what we call a Smart Drop. A Smart Drop is an item that takes your current class into consideration when rolling its stats. As a result, players should now find more items that are relevant and useful to the hero they're playing. In addition, certain stats no longer have a chance to roll on class-specific items. So say goodbye to Mighty Belts with Dexterity, or Strength Mojos, and hello to better loot. Of course, primary stats, secondary stats, and smart drops are just the tip of the itemization iceberg. Loot 2.0 also includes the following changes. New item affixes have been added. Keep an eye out for splash damage, cooldown reduction, resource reduction, bonus physical damage, and class-specific skill bonuses. Item stat ranges have been narrowed. This means that instead of an item having a range of 1 to 200 strength, for example, its range might now be more like 140 to 200, meaning that, on average, items should be much more powerful. These stat ranges can now also be viewed in-game. To see how well your item rolled, simply press and hold control while its tooltip is open. All new legendary and set item drops will now be bind on account. Looking for the most powerful gear? We'll suit up and mow down some demons. And finally, all legendary items have been reworked with one or more of these points in mind. And many legendaries have also had their powers revisited, with the goal of making them build changing. Please note that these changes will only affect new items that drop. Your existing items will remain untouched and will not be affected by any of the updates we've discussed. Up next is Paragon. With Patch 201, the Paragon system has received three major updates. One, the Paragon level cap has been removed. Two, these levels are now shared across your account. Normal heroes and hardcore heroes will have separate shared Paragon levels. And three, the rewards for gaining Paragon levels have drastically changed. Let's take a look. Each time you gain a Paragon level, you'll now be provided a point to spend in one of four categories, core, offense, defense, or utility. Core points can be spent on your class's primary attribute, vitality, movement speed, or bonus class resource. Offensive points focus on increasing your damage output and efficiency and include attack speed, cooldown reduction, critical hit chance, and critical hit damage. Defensive points include stats that help improve your survivability. Options include bonus life percentage, bonus armor, resist all, and life regeneration. Finally, Utility points include more specialized stats that allow players to refine their builds. These points can be spent on boons like area damage, resource cost reduction, life on hit, and gold find. The goal of the new Paragon system is designed to give you greater control over your hero, promoting variety in build options and offering more character customization than ever before. Moving on to difficulty. Game difficulty settings have changed quite a bit in the latest patch. How exactly? Well, first we've removed the tiered progression system from Diablo 3. Under this system, players were required to progress linearly 
through Normal, Nightmare, Hell, and Inferno, completing the campaign on one difficulty before unlocking the next. This system has been replaced with what we call Dynamic Difficulty. Monsters will now level up alongside your hero, growing in power and abilities as you do. In addition, we've added 10 new difficulty settings, replacing the old monster power system. These new difficulties are Normal, Hard, Expert, Master, and Torment 1 through 6. Normal, Hard, and Expert difficulties will be immediately available to all players, while Master and Torment difficulties will unlock as players progress through the campaign. Note that unlocking a difficulty on one hero will unlock it for all heroes on your account. Each increase in difficulty level offers additional challenges and greater gold and experience rewards. Players in Torment will also be rewarded with an increased chance to find legendary items. With Patch 201, we're also introducing two new social features, clans and communities. Clans are intended to be smaller and invitation only, with a focus on socialization. Clans also have the ability to assign a clan tag that will display next to a member's name in-game. Through the clan UI, members can share news, chat with one another in a private channel, check out member profiles and their legendary drops, and plenty more. It's a great way to organize your play and keep in touch with those you game with the most. In addition to clans, players can also join communities. Communities are designed to be a place where players can come together for any number of reasons, including playing the same class, frequenting the same fan sites, or living in the same geographical area. Communities can be public or private and support a nearly unlimited number of members. Similar to clans, communities also offer a variety of options for sharing information and encouraging interaction between players who have common interests. But that's not all. Check out some of these other cool changes included in the patch. Chests and shrines now have a chance to be cursed, starting an event when inspected. These events offer a variety of challenges and will reward players with gold, experience, and a radiant chest once cleansed. Players will now occasionally find pools of reflection while adventuring, which grant a 25% buff to experience gain. This buff will persist until you reach a set amount of bonus experience or your hero dies. Champions and elites can now spawn with five challenging new monster affixes, including Frozen Pulse, Orbiter, Poison Enchanted, Thunderstorm, and Wormhole. And last but not least, we've revisited and revamped all the original hero classes. Be sure to review our official 201 patch notes for more information about these features. That wraps up our recap of Patch 201. We look forward to hearing your thoughts on the Diablo 3 forums and can't wait to share more about our upcoming expansion, Reaper of Souls, as March 25th draws near. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in Sanctuary. <laughs>